Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nexus Core video and today we're doing my Reziel deck profile. I'm actually really excited for this deck because it's the first for the Divines meta and um, it's really, really good with Selgan. This deck has been a lot of fun playtesting with and it's just a really great gimmick with the Divine skill and it's a protagonist deck. I mean, everyone's really excited to build this deck. It's getting a lot of really good support in set two as well. So I can't wait to show you guys the deck that I put together so far. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard about 50 Cards, it's an online store where you can pick up singles, playmats, sleeves, trial decks, any upcoming booster set or premium deck set that's coming up, you can pick up at 50 Cards and you can get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus. My favorite thing about 50 Cards is that you can pick up the Nation Bubbles, which makes it so that if there's an upcoming booster set, you can pick up a full play set of every single base rarity card from a single nation. If you're looking forward to updating your deck for set three, you can go on 50 cards, look up Keter, Dragon, Brant Gate, whatever nation you wanna update for your deck, and you can get a full play set of every single card from that nation delivered to your doorstep, which is really convenient because just updating your deck really easily without having to worry about the secondary market. So be sure to check out 50 cards, get that discount with code Nexus, and let's go right into the deck profile. All right, jumping into the Reziel deck profile. Main thing we're gonna start with first is obviously our ride deck. So we'll put the main deck off to the side. Our starter is, uh, I would say from the trial deck, but it's actually from the booster set because the trial deck one, unfortunately does not have a skill. Wings of Aspiration So Well is your typical starter, which is when wrote upon, you draw a card if you're going second. Then we have Patrol of Gusts, Fantesta. When wrote upon by Knight of Great Advance, Ascensor, Call this to rear, Soul Charge one. This is obviously the main ride line, but the Soul Charge does come in handy for cards like Nobia, which Soul Blast for power. It also has a rearguard skill, which is during a turn, if you have a grade three Vanguard with Rezzy on it, same, it gets 2K. So it does make a good 10K beater uh, later when you ride a grade three. So after you call this out, it's a good beater, good booster. So it's an extra rearguard. It's kind of like Forerunner, which is nice. They had a grade two, Knight of Great Advance, Ascensor. Uh, when it is wrote upon by a grade three card with Rezzy on its name, Choose a grade two from grade two or lower from drop, call to rear. This is really important because obviously you have really good rear guards that we discard from our, you know, hand when we go into our ride deck. But Celergon is also a card that is actively being sent to our drop zone from its own skill. So we can take advantage of the fact that we can bring it back with the Sensor, which is also really cool. Then finally, our main grade three, which is Fate of One of Miracles, Reziel. When it attacks, you uh, choose two cards from your drop zone with different grades, and their total grades have to be equal or less to your damage zone. So you can call two and a one if you have three damage. Um, and if you're at five damage, you can call three and a two. So, you know, you can you can work with the, the grade numbers as you want, but you get to call two things and kind of call a column, which is nice. Or if you want to, you can call two additional cards if you call like a three and a one or a two and a one as beat sticks. So that's also a nice feat. The divine skill, which is really, really cool, is act soul bless one, return all of your crits from your drop zone back to your deck and shuffle the deck. This gets an additional drive until the end of the turn. And then until the end of the fight, um, you cannot write other cards uh, unless they have Reziel on their name. And when your damage check reveals a trigger other than a heal trigger from your damage zone, when you have five or more cards, you choose a card from your damage zone, you heal it, and then you lose this ability. So you're able to save yourself with a miracle trigger with any trigger in your deck. So when you return all those crits, any of those crits will act as a heal on six damage, which is really, really funny if you're able to cheese out some wins. Uh, but the first skill is really nice being able to multi-attack and call stuff from drop. It's a really, really, really good aggressive skill. So Reziel is a really fun deck and you know, we'll get into the rest of the main contents, but of course, um, can't forget our energy generator, which you get uh, upon writing to your grade one. So the skill is when you ride, you put it into your crest zone. And then if you're going second, you get three energy and then you may have up to 10 energy. And at the beginning of each ride phase, you get three energy. So energy is, uh, you know, what you can use to pay for costs for cards that have energy blast skills. Then you can also use act energy blast seven to draw a card. So just in case your deck doesn't run any energy blasts, you can still at least use that for an extra draw, which is pretty nice. And what is, what is a good way to keep track of energy? Well, you could use an energy tracker or you could just use 10 energy, whoa, 10 energy cards to keep track 
of all of those markers every time you acquire energy and lose energy. So we'll we'll see how this goes. I, I may actually like this, but um, I have yet to actually test what using the energy cards are like in real gameplay. And um, we'll see how I feel about it. But let's jump into the main deck. Starting off in the main deck, we got our three copies of Reziel for grade threes. Uh, Persona Ride, and also, you know, you can only ride other copies of Reziel, but it's mostly, you know, the Persona Ride. Then I'm running two copies of Sages. Sages is a really, really good card, just because it lets you look at the top card of your deck. It gets an extra 10k power and shield anytime your opponent gets a damage trigger or a drive trigger. And then uh, it has an additional effect where you can kind of blast one. If your opponent's Vanguard is 14k or greater, you can add your opponent's Vanguard's power to this unit's power. So it can't get over over triggers, which is nice. And you can remove an over trigger from your drop zone to choose another rear guard to give it uh, 15k. So it can you know make this bigger. Uh, but I mostly love it for the fact that it's additional shield. And when you swing, you can look at the top card of your deck and either put the soul or leave the trigger on top. It's really nice if you know you're setting up for your Reziel turn and you you swing with this last and you look at the top card of your deck and it's a trigger. You can just leave it there and be like. I know I'm healing out of this, so we're good. You know, any trigger is a heal. So I think uh, Sages is really helpful for a lot of situations that work with Reziel's skill, so I like it a lot. And then I am running the one Gigantic Masher. Gigantic Masher is just really cool because it's a, a big old beater for the late game. Uh, when it's placed by the rear guard, by the ability of your Vanguard with Reziel in its name, it gets 15k. So if you Persona Road, 38k on its own, really big. Uh, this can get pretty scary. I was going to originally run two, but I decided to drop down to one um, just because I found myself wanting to use Sages more often just to like check for triggers as a call target. And also I really like calling other, you know, grade twos for their skills. So, but this is still a really, really good card. So I do like this a lot, um, but that is the grade three lineup. We'll just go ahead and jump right into the grade twos. But before I forget, um, lastly, for grade threes, make some room, we do have one copy of Bracing Angel Ladder. So this is the card that is going to keep your board protected and, you know, let you keep a board. You can draw a card, put this to your soul. All your rear guards can't be chosen and they can't be put except to rear guard circle uh, by your opponent's card effects. So the only thing it can be do, you can do is be called, um, but they cannot be chosen or bound or anything like that. So it's good board protection, which is nice. I like it for the soul, I like for the draw. The protection does help just because, you, you know, you want to keep your board around. So I'm playing around with this card, we'll see how I feel, but I, you know, you might want to go under different Regalis piece, maybe Gratis Gradale for the Persona Ride, but I do like that this card helps with the soul, just in case I need it for that turn, so might as well run it. You can just run another Gigantic Masher, I think that's a really good substitute. If you don't want to run Bracing Ladder, you know, just, you know, for the space, so that can be a good substitute if you don't want to throw in the ladder. But that is it for the grade threes. Now we're going to move on to grade twos. Starting off for grade twos, we're going to be running four copies of Nobia. So Nobia is a really, really good uh, beat stick and also it builds a board. When it's placed on rear, if you have a grade three of Vanguard of Reziel, look at top three, call one to rear, the rest go to the bottom of your deck. If it's during the battle phase, you can put it to your hand instead, the chosen card. So very Aglavel coded for sure. Um, it's got some gold paladin aesthetics to it, which I like a lot. But I definitely like the fact that if you do call this during the battle phase and want to use the skill, you can add like really good defensive cards to your hand, like PGs, or if you just want extra shield in hand for triggers, like you can add a front trigger to your hand if you need to. It also has the skill when it attacks a grade three unit. If you have a grade three Vanguard Reziel, you still last one for additional 10k. So like 10k can come in clutch, so I do like to have a good amount of soul so that I can at least, you know, pop off with that. So. The extra soul that you get from the grade two line or the, the ride deck, the grade one actually does help with, you know, being able to soul blast an extra card. So Nobia is really, really good. Definite four of for the Reziel deck. Speaking of really, really good cards, we got four copies of Biscotti. Biscotti is the, uh, those cards where they are able to be discarded from hand to draw a card if you counter blast one or energy blast three. I'm calling them Biscotti clones because Biscotti is the best one of all of them in my personal opinion, but you know, that's that's just me being biased with Kendra Sanctuary. It's secondary effect, uh, which all the Biscotti clones have an effect based on their nation, but Biscotti's is like crazy good. A, when you Persona Ride, you can Kendra Blast 1 or Energy Blast 3. When placed, you can look at the top three cards of your deck, choose one from among them, put it on the top of your deck, and the rest go to the bottom of your deck. And if it's not uh, during the battle phase, you can call it to rear instead of putting it at the top of your deck. So it allows you to Energy Blast 3, 
top three, call something, the rest go to bottom, similar to Nobia. So it's a second Nobia for that. Okay, you can use energy instead of a counterblast, but also you could use it during the battle phase to be able to look at the top three, look for a trigger and put it at the top of your deck. So looking at three cards and maybe seeing an over trigger and just leaving the over trigger on the top of your deck is kind of crazy. So Scotty is a, uh, goaded for that and the fact that it's just when placed on rear whether you, you know it's being called from the drop zone or not so you can keep reusing the scotty and as long as you have enough energy to keep doing it you know you can keep going and going and going so scotty goes crazy it's crazy good so i liked biscotti so much that i decided to run the original biscotti which is spiral cutie angel so spiral cutie is similar where it can be discarded during the right phase to draw a card except you pay a soul blast and you put this back into the deck instead the second skill is when it's placed when you persona ride, you can count blast one, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one, put it in your hand, and the other will go on the top or bottom of your deck. So I do like Spiral QD a lot because you can use that in the same way as Biscotti to check for triggers or add shield to your hand when you call it with Reziel when you persona ride. I think it's just a really good target. And if you don't have Biscotti in your hand when you're ditching for your ride phase, being able to use uh, Spiral QD just to be able to help you you know, draw some more cards is nice. It does use a Soul Blast, so you can't use it for Nobia, but we have plenty of Soul to work with. So I think Spiral Cutie is really good. So I'm not doing like the, the Order variant with Teeth Fail and all those other fun cards, but that's still a really good build to do. I'm just kind of starting off with this as a more generic, like not too Order reliant build, and I'm liking it a lot. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Speaking of Orders, I am running two copies of this card, a Warrior's Rest, which is crazy good. When placed with energy blast two, choose two of your units and they get during the battle that this unit is boosted, this gets 10K. And then if you have five units, you draw a card. So it just adds an extra free 10K to two cards on your board, making them way bigger than they already are. We run a lot of grade ones in this deck. So boosting things is gonna be really easy to do. And then you just get a draw. So you kind of get its cost back because you lose a card, you pay two energy, and then you draw a card back, which is nice. And we fill the board really easily, so getting five units. So your Vanguard is a unit, so you only need four rear guards. Super easy to do. So this card might bump up the three just because of how easy it is to pull off. But um, for now, just sticking with the two. I might honestly drop a Spiral Cutie for another one of these just because how good it is. But this is just what I've been playing around with and I like it a lot. So that is it for the grade twos. Now we're gonna move on to the good stuff, the grade ones. Starting off, we got the card that makes this deck absolutely broken, Selgaon. So Selgaon is when it boosts, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, or you played an order this turn, this gets 5K, and at the end of the battle, you can retire this unit, you look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one from among them, put it into your hand, and you put the rest of the bottom of your deck. So the fact that you can get a boost to then, you know, get 5K, for free and you can use this early game when you just throw it down the turn that you ride you know going second or on your turn two turn for grade two just throw it down 13k booster it dies you draw it you look at two you put one in your hand you put the other in the bottom like you know so you're filtering your triggers and then you can call it back with Reziel, or you can call it from the deck with nobia or biscotti like just filtering out this card to add more hand advantage and filter your deck for triggers is super super good so Selgaon goes crazy in almost every Kedis Sanctuary deck that's not Bastion or like Youth Burke. So if you can run like generic grade ones, it's always going to be this card. This card is just super, super necessary. Next I'm running four copies of Aerial Sage just because it's a really good booster and it helps the counter charge. During the battle this boosted, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with Reziel, this gets 5k power. So it's always a 13k booster. When this boosted grade three Vanguard with Reziel, you can discard a card from your hand to counter charge and this unit also gets 2k so it becomes a 15k booster for your vanguard and you're able to get counter blast back for you know Reziel skill nobius skill spiral cutie there's a lot of stuff that does counter blast so being able to time it where you can boost if y'all if you have all face down damage counter charge one and then use Reziel skill to counter blast so you're always able to get off Reziel skill no matter what thanks to aerial sage so really good card running four copies just to see more boosters and it's just have, good to have on the board. Um, but also it can be discard far, fodder if you need to so that you can call it back to the rear guard circle if needed. Then I'm running one copy of Tolpaz. Tolpaz is a good generic card to run um, for shield and you know just because we have the space. When placed on rear of the guardian circle you put two cards from your solar drop zone back into the ride deck face up. 
If it's placed on rear, you look at top five, choose a unit grade less than or equal to your Vanguard and call it. Um, and if it is not during your main phase, you have to call it as rest, but this is still really good just because you can call it during the main phase um, with Nobia or Biscotti, you know, look at top five, call more things to your field, or if you end up adding it to your hand with cards like Selgon or Biscotti during the battle phase, it makes a really good 20K shield uh, by itself. So I do like having Tolpaz for that situational card. Then for Sentinels, we got our Elementaria and our three PGs, because that is just uh, what we end up doing these days because of the meta and we still have G units floating around. So Elementaria lets you PG for free if your opponent has triple drive and then our regular PGs this is the new artwork that came in uh, Divine Set 1. So, uh, but that is it for grade ones, nothing crazy going on there. Main thing is that Aerial Sage and Selgon are like your main go-tos for this deck. Triggers are also really simple. I'm running one Valnut. Valnut got reprinted in the first set for Faded Clash. So this is really nice to have as a reprint. So Valnut is better than Armar Tanoa, in my opinion, even though you do run grade three regards, is because you can multi-attack and your calling stood things anyways. So I do like the fact that you can make multiple attacks thanks to Valnut. So. And also it's still really good if you have no rear guards during your first like drive check. If you do get an OT, draw a card, call something, at least maybe like you can call out a, a really good uh, beater and then swing with it for a really big, big amount. So, or you can call things like a, like a Sages just because it's being called by a guard effect, even though you're at grade one or two and start looking at your deck for triggers and filling your soul. So I do like Vomit for multiple scenarios. Triggers are pretty basic. We got our four blade feather because it's just a crit with the skill, but you can get away with vanillas. I, I honestly never use this skill to fill the soul, but if for whatever reason I really need soul, I can at least, you know, call a blade feather from my drop zone with Reziel's skill. And then, you know, it's still a booster. So if I only have two damage, I can call a zero and a two, use this as a boost. So it's hits for 13 or 23, depending on triggers. And then afterwards move to soul, give something 2K and I have extra soul. So. It actually can come in handy, but it's nothing crazy. Then Vanilla Crits, we got the four from the Trial Deck. I really like this artwork a lot. So I did decide to pick up the Trial Deck, honestly, for these cards, which are pretty cute. Then I'm running three front. Front triggers are good in this deck because you're constantly setting up a board during the battle phase and Reziel is the only thing rested in your front row typically. So being able to get a front trigger off is nice. This is the one where it gets an extra five shield. I really like the fronts just because you can add cards to your hand during your battle phase. So uh, thanks to cards like Selgon and um, Biscotti. So I, I like the extra shield. And then lastly is our heal triggers. Uh, I'm not doing anything crazy with the heals. I'm just running the generic 15K vanilla heals. Uh, if you want to run uh, the heals with the skills, I recommend the one where um, if the, your opponent's unit attacks two or more times, it gets an extra 15 shield. Only reason is because Dominate is still a thing, but I'm still playing around and people are running different decks. So, you know, I'm just sticking with the heals for now. And that is it for the main deck. So thank you guys for sticking around this far. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and kind of show what like a little combo will look like so you get an idea of how this deck flows. All right, so we got our funky little hand here, and we got our grade two turn, so we're about to ride into our grade three residual. And I'll kind of show you guys, you know, what like the basic gameplay will look like. For this, let's just say we went up to three damage, right? So now we have some counter blast to work with, and we're gonna be able to do some really funky plays. So we're gonna start with acquiring three energy because it's the beginning of our ride phase. So we'll go up to six, and we'll start by discarding a card. So we'll ride to residual. Using a Sensior skill, since we rode, we can call a grade two or lower to our rear guard circle. So then we can use Nobia's skill on place, but also we're going to resolve Biscotti. I'm just gonna do that now before I forget. So we can energy blast three to draw a card. Could make a difference with our Nobia plays. No, not really. So now we can use Nobia's skill, kind of blast, look at top three. That's really good. Now we got our Aerial Sage. Our OT goes to the bottom, but that's fine. We'll just shuffle later. So now we can actually start kind of like calling a board. Um, I'm probably gonna call over the Ventesta. So I'm gonna call Saragon and Aerial Sage. So we got our 13K boosters. 
Celgon is going to be live because we have a full board. Most likely we're going to have more than our opponent. And then since we have it, I can use a Warrior's Rest to Energy Blast 2 to choose two of my units and they get, when they're boosted, they get an extra 10k. So this is going to be something that's going to make my front row attacks even bigger. So that's going to be really nice for that turn. And of course I get to draw a card to make up for it. So immediately starting off going into our battle phase, this is 20 by itself. So 33 as our first swing. Again, we didn't Persona Ride because we just rode to grade three. So 33, they're probably gonna end up taking it. Then we can Selgon, it dies. We look at the top two. We can add an Aerial Sage to our hand and then we put this to bottom to keep our triggers in our deck. We swing, we're, maybe we'll use the skill for Aerial Sage, but you know, we don't really need to right now. Um, I'm just gonna counter blast with Reziel's skill to call a column. And look at that, you know what we can do? We can just call a two and a one, since we have three damage. And now, Selgon is back on the board again for that additional boost. So our Vanguard's gonna attack and our opponent's gonna decide to guard or not. So we get our twin drive, another Selgon, a front trigger, which is really nice. Uh, this, Nobi has still got that 10K from a while ago. So we're gonna swing with the weaker column. Uh, we still have a bigger board, so this is gonna die off. We're gonna look at the top two. A PG is really good, so I'm gonna add the PG to my hand. And then the Nobi is gonna swing. Uh, this is already really big by itself. I probably don't need to do the Soul Blast, so we probably won't. But if for whatever reason you feel obliged to, you can Soul Blast a card, get an additional 10K for, right now this is swinging for 53. <laughs> it's a really big column. So all those attacks are really big. And we got a decent amount of hand. We started off after calling a bunch of stuff. We had four cards. We had an additional four cards out of that turn, including the Twin Drive. So get a decent amount of hand advantage, depending on how many Selgons you're able to build during your board. If you're lucky enough to do three, that's an additional two cards to your hand that you could get when you're using Selgon for those skills. So this is really fun to use. And obviously as you're going through the game, guarding with crits, you know, making sure that if you can, putting them back into your deck so that you can use the divine skill, get triple drive, and then hopefully sack your opponent with some crits. And then Looking for Persona Rides using Selgon is really nice too because you have Biscotti and Spiral Cutie that get benefits for when you Persona Ride. So that's pretty much it for the deck. Thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to showing off some games with this deck in the near future. It's a lot of fun to play with and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.